They, uh, they have a great quarterback in Shea Patterson, uh, a lot of great receivers, uh, big offensive line. Um, obviously, the offense goes through Shea, so uh, we have to prepare for him and make sure, you know, being a duel for a guy, he can run and throw. How much does it help facing um, guys like Syracuse and Ann Auburn with quarterbacks like that um, to prepare for Shea? It, it helps a lot. You know, we've been through, um, as you get into the latter part of the year, you get to see different, you know, offenses and what you want to do against them. And, you know, when you get to like an Ole Miss, a lot of people, like you said, Syracuse, Auburn, they, they had, you know, usually the same type of offense run the same type of scheme. So for us, it's helped us out. You know, things we're really good at, we're going to use. And, you know, we want to make sure, we, you know, if there's a weakness of what we did in the previous game, we'll work on it then this week and uh, improve on it. Is there a difference in the way you rush a guy who wants to scramble to throw as opposed to a guy who wants to scramble to run? Yeah, you know, I, I think it just depends on um, what, you know, Coach Aranda and Coach Owen them want. But I, I really feel like, you know, when you go against a guy that can run, you have to make sure you have to contain first. You can't just run up the field. And, you know, if you get out of your gap, he's got to take off. It's not like a Tom Brady or a Payne Manning where if he's just going to sit back there. It doesn't matter what you're doing. But uh, I really feel like, you know, with Shea, you know, if he sees something, he's going he's gonna to want to throw the ball. But um, if he sees a hole open up, he's going to definitely want to run as well.